Okay, so let's jump right on this next section and that's Cisco log file analysis. Believe it or not, Cisco logs are actually, in my opinion, even easier than uh, Apache logs, really, because the bulk of what you're going to be getting from the device itself is status update stuff. You know, device up, device down, issues with this particular interface. You know, that's really the, the bulk of it, because remember, they're permissive devices. They're not restrictive devices. So if it's a firewall, it's a restrictive device. It's going to let you know what it's blocking, you know, what things it's having issues with and saying, hey, I didn't let this go from here to here. If it's a firewall or a switch, it's going to be permissive stuff. So, you know, really, it's just going to be bandwidth throughput, whatever's happening on any particular interface. Is the interface flapping? Are you getting babbles? Anything like that. So let's dive into that. You're going to see that still the same stuff that we did on Linux. So we want to start playing a little bit with regex. No, not too much, but we'll do a little. Okay, so we're going to wget down this log file. We're going to cat the log file and print field five, then tail and show the last four lines of it, right? Then we'll cat, show field five, sort it, unique it and count it, and then sort that. We'll do the same thing here where we want to start grepping for the way data needs to look. So you're saying I want to grep for A to Z, lowercase, A to Z, uppercase, and any number of them with the dash, and then a number with the dash, and then some more letters, right? So it's just kind of setting what you want the data to look like. And then you want field five out of that stuff, sort it, unique it, right? And then numeric sort. And then here, this grep line proto five, right? You're trying to look for all the things where you're showing the device state change, right? And then you're doing the same thing, print field 10, sort them, unique them, right? Then we'll do a sed, right? Where we replace some data, replace the comma with nothing, right? And then we'll look for the ones where the state changed, okay? So let's, let's rip through some of this, guys. Here's where that log file line is. We'll go get the log file. And now what we want to do is we want to cat the log file. Remember, cat is just to read. Awk, and then I want to print field five. And then I want to show the last four lines of it. So here's the last four lines, DHUPD4, ping conflict. This is sys5 config i. Okay. Well, if I backspace through the last four lines, this is just everything that's in field five. So you see how there's like SSH disabled, line proto up, down, right? Now there's some stuff that doesn't make sense. Do you see how sometimes there's software and Cisco and buy, right? Maybe that's stuff that we might want to clean up later. Now if we want to take a look at the fields, let's see. First field, it says mostly set, but sometimes you see some stuff that doesn't line up right. Okay, I've got a four, so it looks like that's September 4th, September 6th, September 14th, September 20th, so it looks like that's probably the date separated by space. Okay, here's the time. Okay, now here's where you're seeing sometimes the log format doesn't format properly, right? So you see how there's sometimes there's different, here's time, here's garbage, and then here's a date when all the other cases it's back to being time. Okay, these are the kind of log files that are fun, <laughs> not. Okay, so let's go look at four. Okay, so it's showing you by uh, uh, time zone, but here you see that there's garbage in here, right? So five, and then here's the message of what happened at that particular time, right? Okay, is there a field six? Let's see. 
Yep, there's a field six. Okay, and it says line or protocol. Okay. So, what we can do is we can pipe it to less. Let's take a look at the line. Okay, so September 4th at this time, Eastern time, line proto 5 did an up down line protocol on IP face, IPv6, state change to up. Okay, can manage that. Let's just say it's just been disabled. Okay, I can manage that. Line protocol on that interface, change its state to up. The sucker is administratively down. Okay. All right. Ah, there you go. See that system restarted? So because the system restarted, that's why you have all this non-standard garbledy goop. Because after the system restart, you got the info about the system restarting. Hmm. Well, there you go. Well, that's kind of cool, but it's also going to jack up when you're trying to parse logs. Because you can't just blindly say, I want what's in this field, because sometimes field one will be the word Cisco. Right? Sometimes field two will be the word IIS. Or sometimes field one will be the set date. Sometimes field two will be the number here. So that kind of leads us to what we're going to be covering right now. So let's do the same stuff that we did earlier. So this time, I'm going to cap that Cisco log. I only want to print field 5. I want to sort it. I want to unique it and count it. That's the dash C. And then I want to do a numeric sort, right? Put in the ones with the highest number counts at the top, right? There we go. So I got eight of these line protocol up-downs. I got three of these system info messages. Right, and I got two DHCP conflicts. I got a restart. I got one case where we enabled SSH. I got one case where we disabled SSH. And then these lines, this line right there, that's probably the restart. Okay. See that's Cisco by those are probably the restarts. <clears throat> so you go, ah, well that's interesting. So now, let's see if we can get rid of the restart info. All right, so how are we trying to get rid of the restart info? What I'm going to do is, do you see here, this is just the word software. This is just the word Cisco. This is just the word buy. So what you're going to do here is you're going to say, okay, I'm looking for any text right? Any text that starts with a percent sign. You see how it starts with a percent sign? It's going to have some characters, and then there'll be a dash between them. Then after that, it's going to have some characters. So what you're going to say is, okay, I want to grab for the percent sign anything that's lowercase a to z or uppercase a to z. And I don't care how many of them it is. That's what the asterisk is for. Then I want to have a dash, any number from 0 to 9, and another dash, followed by some more characters A to Z, lowercase, or some characters A to Z, uppercase, asterisk. And then keep everything else the same. And what you should notice is now, it prints out your information without that Cisco and buy and all that kind of stuff. In other words, you want to get fields that only have the data in it that you're looking for. You don't want the restart data. So you don't want this stuff. You don't want this stuff. Okay. So that's what this little thing is doing. This is like a cute little regular expression. I wouldn't call it a real nice, sophisticated regex, but it's a good little way to kind of get you started with thinking how to, how to deal with this type of stuff in a log file. If I can help you learn about who we are and hopefully 
if you're willing to join us. This is InfoSec Addicts.